So guys, for the first method, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And now you want to find Windows updates. Click on run. See if this fixes your problem. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search and type in file explorer options. Click on it. And then click on the view tab. And now you want to select show hidden files, folders and drives. And then click on OK. Then once you do that, you want to head over to search again and type in services. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you want to scroll down until you find Windows Updates. Here it is. You want to right click on it and then click on stop. And then once you do that, you want to head over to search again and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you want to scroll down and click on this PC. Now you want to find a drive that has Windows installed on it. It's going to have the Windows logo on it. That's how you know it's the correct one. So you want to double click on it and then click on Windows. And now you want to scroll down until you find software distribution. You want to double click on it and then click on download. You want to delete everything in this folder. So you just want to highlight over this and then click on delete. If you get this, click on use for all current items and then continue. And then once you do that, you want to head back into services. You want to find Windows updates. You want to right click on it and then click on start. Now you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.